And now, suspense. Vienna. In 1913, with Europe on the verge of war, Vienna was seething with espionage and counter-espionage. The headquarters of the Austro-Hungarian Secret Service was located in the Steubenring. In an obscure part of this building were the offices of the Kundschaft Stella. Send Carl away from Vienna. I must send him back to St. Petersburg. He's the key to my whole system. To organize all our agents in Russia. Brilliant. Is that worth sacrificing him for? Sacrifice? You talk as if I were sending my best friend to the gallows. Well, somehow that's what I feel. He has to go. He knows how important he is. Well, that's how information about France and England comes to Carl's work in St. Petersburg. Now, stop your parting and let's go. Thank you. Dropping me off to the ministry on your way home, darling. But of course. Thank you. Violet, sir. Violet, pretty Violet. Thank you, sir. Violet. 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 Penny for your folks. Yes, suppose I hate you a little because I gave up a car for you. You feel guilty, that's all, hmm? A little countess feels guilty because she's thrown over Carl, the aristocrat, and taken me, and a country boy. And for good reason. Yeah, like any woman. Give her a choice between the, the weak and the strong, and she takes the, the strong 
Or at least what you think you're trying. Oh, but what are you talking about? Uh, here we are now. Huh? Then you uh, telephone me when you finish. Because I'd worry about you. You and all your secrets. Report on Major Romovsky, sir. It's in code. Did you break it down? Yes, sir. Here it is. <coughs> Romovsky, Russian attaché, working in Vienna. Dangerous. Digs out private scandals to wreck public lives. Responsible for suicide of French ambassador in Constantinople last year. Have we been watching him? Yes, sir. What's he up to? I'm afraid there isn't very much about the Major today, sir. Didn't he go out? Stay all day at the Russian embassy? Uh, no, sir. He had breakfast absolutely alone at Stryker's Pavilion. Then he went across the square between the fountains. And then... And what? Then, sir, he was lost. Lost? The truth is, sir, the Major is a very remarkable man. Well. Who was the last person Ramovsky spoke to, a uh, widow Stikers? No, sir, there was an old woman on the square. What old woman? She sold flowers. What kind of flowers? I don't know, sir. Violets, I think. Violets? Yes, sir, violets. Did you have the woman followed? We did not, sir, because she is known to us. Known? Uh... My dear lieutenant, in this world, no one is known to us. No one ever is known to us. Yes, sir. Just, just our friends and our wives, even ourselves. Yes, sir, I, I remember, sir. I, I realize that. Two things. One, you must be eternally suspicious of everyone. And two, you must see that no one has the slightest grounds to be suspicious of you. Yes, sir, I remember that, sir. You said it in your book. In our world. Any personal weakness of character can be disastrous, just as it was for uh, the French ambassador. Hello. It's the sergeant at the gate, sir. He says there's a gentleman demanding to, to see you. Who is it? Who is it? Who? Romovsky, sir. Good morning, Colonel. Well, I really can't tell you what it's about. I can't. Except you might say it's a matter which could best be discussed over cigars. Over what? Cigars. Expensive cigars. Such as you bought tonight at dinner. <coughs> Major, uh, I have not the slightest idea what you are calling about. Why don't you try again tomorrow? Perhaps at a more sober moment. Goodbye. I'm going home. Are you ill, sir? Was I ever ill? No, sir. Good night, sir. Flowers, flowers, violets, 
sir. Violet's for a lady, sir. Violet. Violet's for a lady. Would you mind if I walked a bit with you? I'm a little stranger in Vienna, and on such a foggy night. All right. A cigar, Colonel? Or perhaps you prefer your own. But you do smoke, don't you? I'm sure anyone who has worked such hours, and for so many years, and under such life and death pressures as you have, well, surely he must be permitted some minor indulgence. Even though, even though they might be habit forming, like certain cigars. I mean, for instance, I've heard of cigars that have opium put in them. Must be a dreadful habit, especially for a very important man. Could ruin his career if word got around. Do you want to find out something from you? Quite. Your espionage in Russia is much too effective. I want the name of your chief agent there. Never! No. It should not Give me that name or I'll wreck your life. Now go ahead. I will never give you that name. Well, if you won't give us that, then how about a bit of military information now and then? What information? Well, we can work that out later. Just now, all I want is to be sure that is between us the basis for a reasonable rapprochement. Offhand, Colonel. Would you say there is a basis for an understanding? Yes. I believe I would. here three months ago. May it be safe in St. Petersburg. Why don't you drink? I'm sorry. Here's to Carl. Darling, what is it? There is trouble in the department. What kind? Here is trouble. Leaks to the Russians. Some spy right in our midst. Until I catch him, I will never get a moment's peace. Here is the piece. Sorry, sir. The general sent me out with a message. What's wrong now? The worst yet. The Russians have our plan for the invasion of Serbia. The general's in a terrible state, sir. He insists that every member of the office be re-examined. Of course I intend to. He really is desperate, sir. Don't you think I am? Excuse me, darling. I have to go to the ministry. Good night. Good night, Albert. The lieutenant will take you home. Violet, Violet, sir. Violet, sir. Violet, Violet. No, Violet. Violet, sir. Colonel Violet. Violet for a lady, Colonel. Tonight at 9.15, drive through the alley behind the opera house. Violet! Violet! Oh, Violet! Violet! Would you mind very much if we left now? I think I should get back, too. Of course not. Not at all. Oh, the general must have left a cigar. Here, you'd better take this. No, uh, no, you have it. Well, thank you. Major, you're asking too much. 
I am in no position to know what the Germans is damned. Exactly, but I shall see to it that you will know. No, 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 nothing more out of me. Not a thing. I'm afraid I'm already a suspect. That's what I'm going to take care of. I'm going to give you the name of our chief agent here. He works in your department. What? Who? Oscar Langston, the telegraph operator. Langston? You will arrest him. That will take the suspicion off you. Then I will furnish you with such, such minute information that when you bring him to trial, you can make a hero out of yourself. And everyone, emperor, crown prince, and the general, all will have the greatest confidence in you. But what if something goes wrong? Oh, my dear colonel, what can possibly go wrong with you as prosecutor? After the trial, we'll meet the capital of the people. Oscar Langton. You've been spying against the fatherland for five years. Gathering and selling secrets vital to the very existence of our beloved emperor. Step by step, Colonel Reddle has traced for the general your every move. From the very first day. From January 11, 1911. Step by step, I've traced every secret you've sold. Every wretched sou you have collected. Do you admit it? Oscar Lang. Do you admit that every word of mine is true? Do you? Yes. Yes, Colonel, I do. But how could you know? How could you find out these infinite points? Let the prisoner refrain from any questions. Do you know what you're going to pay for this? But, Colonel, why should you hang me? I wasn't the only one. What about Major Kirsten? He's just as guilty. Silence! And Gerhard Ach! And there's another man. Somebody in this very Silence! Do you hear me? Silence! I'll ask the questions. See that you answer only the questions I ask. But Colonel Reddle, if there's someone else in this department, surely we should hear his name. Your Honor, I never knew who he was. Except in code, he was referred to as the Poppy. Poppy? I believe he used opium. Colonel, it shouldn't be hard now to find your man. No, General. It shouldn't be long now. But I couldn't control him. I didn't know he was going to tell everything. You've done Russia irreparable damage. You've exposed our entire network. You've made a great hero out of yourself, but you've ruined me. And now you're going to pay for it. But Major Hart... Colonel, I want the name of your chief agent in St. Petersburg. No. Colonel, last time I asked, only your reputation was at stake. This time it's your life. You'll be shot. <laughs> Want to die in disgrace, lose everything, the palace, and the garden, and the countess. What's his name? St. Petersburg. There is an art dealer across from the opera. He goes by the name of Peter Wheaton. Is he a close friend of yours? Very close. That's a pity. Can be shot? Oh, yes. Right away. I'll put it on the wireless now. I should think he'll be shot within two hours. Goodbye, Major. By the way, Colonel, now that you've given me your friend's name, I might as well tell you that you'd be caught in any case. How's that? We've just found out that that old flower woman... Yes? Well, she works on both sides. But even so, if you move fast, you ought to be able to reach Switzerland. Don't feel bad. Your wife will understand. Goodbye, Colonel. But Trinka, the, the Russians may not show him. Even if they do so, well, why is death should come between us? It's a war. We're in a war. Sit down. Have your coffee. You couldn't, 
We could go to Italy. I've been sending money there. I, I, I had a great deal put away. We, we, we could leave right now, just as we are. Huh? By train? With every station full of your agents? No, we, we'll take Joseph. He can drive us all night. And then tomorrow the train for Switzerland. It would work. Don't you think it would work? Yes, it would work. But I'm not going. Why? Because of Garland. Because of all of us. Trinka, oh. can you ever forgive me? No, never. Never you. Never me. find it hard to believe. Incidentally, when did you put a flower woman onto me? When you told me not to trust anyone. Will well, there be a court martial? No. The general wants it quiet. It's going to be suicide because of Carl. You don't wish to live without your best friend. As a matter of fact, I don't. May I have your revolver? Don't worry lest the cabbie be upset. He won't be. He's one of your agents too. later, war broke out. The Serbian army hurled back the Austrians. The attack of the Central Powers was thrown off balance. The German drive faltered, and the Allies held on the barn. And so, in some measure, the course of history was altered by this betrayal in Vienna. calculated to keep you in suspense. Be sure to listen to Suspense each Monday night on your CBS radio station. This is the CBS Television Network.